So how will a contractor using a printer interact with the regulations that are going to be set forward by JG80? What will their uh, relationship be there? Yeah, and basically what JG80 or the standard that we're developing is, is sort of like defining the standard or defining the means of how you are setting up your shop, how you're doing your printing, how you're managing your material, your pre-processing, post-processing, your, your design, um, not necessarily the architectural certification of the 3D model, but let's say after the architect has certified your 3D model, then you get the, the BIM model or 3D model, and then we, we translate it into robotic code in order to do the print. So all the architecture aspects of, of certifying is uh, outside the scope, but we deal from the printing process. So you get the 3D model, um, you, you set up your material, how are you storing up your material, the type of staff that you're gonna have, um, running the 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 the, uh, the process. Also, we're dealing, for example, your your uh, like I said, processing, uh, production, and then post processing. What it takes, for example, if you're doing printing concrete, what are the certif cer uh, certif uh, specific um, ASTM or ANSI or or, uh, or ISO standards that apply to concrete structures if they're load bearing? Certain tests that you have to go through. Uh, if you're using other materials, then other uh, specifications will be listed. So in that sense, it's, it's kind of like, like a checklist of what you need to uh, go through. But also we're trying to handle on-site printing and off-site printing. So let's say if, if you have a BAM facility where they do their um, printing in-house in their 3D printing factory in the Netherlands, and then they ship the elements to, to the construction site, or other mobile solutions like TAM, for example, uh, takes hazard mobile solutions where you actually go on site and start doing the printing. So the same standards apply to both scenarios and situations.